Hello everyone, my name is Ariel Pozvolsky, pre-sales engineer with Algol, and today we're going to be talking about the 8301 IP paging adapter and scheduler. Uh, lots of you guys are familiar with this, but we're going to be diving into the scheduler functionality uh, in the web interface. I'm going to be sharing my screen and we're going to be seeing the different features that are available and quickly how we go about setting it up. So diving into the web interface, I'm already logged in, as you can see. Uh, I'm using, again, the 8301 IP paging adapter and scheduler. Uh, I'm going to head over to the scheduler tab up here. Once we get to the scheduler, first thing I see is the calendar, which right now is completely blank, not populated at all. It is in default settings. That's the way it should be. Um, in order for us to be able to, to populate the calendar, we first need to create schedules. So we'll head over to the schedules tab. Uh, for the sake of the example, uh, we will create two different schedules, although more schedules could be created if required. Really, there is no limit to it. Uh, but for the example, I'm going to say I'll do a weekday schedule, uh, and then we'll also create a weekend schedule. Uh, a caller can be chosen here. It does randomly give you a caller. Um, I'll go ahead and select a different tone, a green caller, let's say. That's going to be helpful later on when we go to the calendar and start populating it. Uh, especially when you have more than one calendar, it really, uh, it's easy to tell them apart. So within weekday, I'm going to go ahead then down to the bottom. I'm going to say add uh, event. And we'll start creating a couple events. Let's say I'm going to do a morning uh, event. Let's say uh, at 8 a.m. That's start of day. So let's say a tone place to let everyone know the day is starting. An audio file can be selected. Uh, as you can see right now, I only have a few choices. These are all choices that come from factory of the device. Uh, very easily, uh, every, anyone is able to upload custom WAV or MP3 files into it as well. Um, to the right of the audio tab, uh, the audio drop-down box actually, uh, you would have, if this device was set up as a multicast transmitter, you'd have the option to select the zone. We don't, like I said, the device is in factory settings. It doesn't always apply to every use case, but this may or may not be here depending on your previous configuration. Um, I'll do the second example, just a uh, second event for the sake of the example. We'll call it um, lunch at noon. It is military time, by the way, so uh, if it was 1 p.m., it would be 1300. I'm going to select a different audio file here for the sake of the example. Let's say speech test. And I'm going to save it. So my weekday calendar is really all done. I'm going to go ahead now and create a weekend schedule too. Call it weekend. Uh, we had one event within, let's say, of some morning, but on weekends, um, the crew starts work at 9 instead of 8 a.m. We'll choose a different audio file. And that's pretty much it. Um, just before we move into the calendar tab, I want to quickly talk about this add action option down here. Uh, this is meant for streaming audio, right? So basically you can have an external audio source connected uh, and then you can set up a start time and end time for this to stream audio, right? We're gonna be, not gonna be testing this today, but just know this add action is meant for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Um, and save my two calendars, my two schedules. Now that we have that saved, we'll head over to the calendar tab. And there's two ways of uh, populating a calendar now. There's this mode called single up here in the top right, and then we have this other mode called recurring. Single means when you select a calendar, and I'll go ahead and do that for the example, so let's say weekday, you pretty much click on any given day, for instance, the week of March 6th, and any given day I'm clicking on, it's populating. You can see up here, it's telling me that the time, that my uh, changes are not saved. It's just a reminder to save it once you're done. Um, on the recurring mode though, um, when you change to this option, if you scroll down to the bottom, you have the options for recurrency here. Uh, pretty standard, but for the sake of the example, again, uh, we'll say this is gonna be recurring weekly on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's going to play every every week. And I'm going to say the end date is going to be March 31st. So once I have that done, the only other thing I have to do is click on the start date. Let's say it's going to be the 13th. There you go. We populate it every weekday up until the 31st. 
Um, let's do the exact same thing now, but for the weekend calendar or the weekend uh, schedule, sorry. Uh, so again, up in the drop down box, uh, top right, go ahead and select weekend. Uh, we'll keep recurring mode on, but now we'll uncheck the weekdays and I'm going to instead check Saturday and Sunday. Keep everything else the same, repeats every week, end date of March 31st. I'm gonna say the start date is gonna be the Sunday, the 5th of March. And there you go, we populated uh, every Saturday and Sunday up until the end of the month. Uh, last but not least, we'll go ahead and save it, of course. And we are pretty much done. Uh, you get this green banner up here telling you it's been saved successfully. Uh, just before we wrap up, I want to mention two quick things. Important to notice the time uh, up here in the top right. That's the system time that's currently running. Make sure that matches your time zone correctly. Settings are, uh, time settings are available in the advanced tab, advanced uh, settings tab. Very important. And last but not least in the data tab, you have the option to download the scheduler backup file. So you can back this up for any reason if you want to perhaps push this to another AD trail down the road or just for the sake of uh, safekeeping. Uh, you have an option to restore that as well. Um, convert an older file, which is not really a big deal and clear all of your data. In conclusion, that covers the scheduling feature within the AD trail and IP paging adapter and scheduler. Thank you for your time. For any questions uh, or if you require more information, please contact the Algo team.